Hello, I hope you are doing great. So, continuing with the course, we are going to add localization to our um, application, to our Blazor WebAssembly application in the client side. So, basically, the first thing we are going to need is to add a reference or a NuGet package uh, that has the name. <coughs> is microsoft.extensions.localization so you need to add that package I already added in the project uh, then in your pages you will have uh, to inject the iString localizer and you will set as the type for uh, the template uh, you will set the page itself or the item uh, you need to localize. In this case we are going to ind indicate that we are going to get the localizer for the type index which is the type of uh, this page and this will actually by default look for a file with the name .index.resx which is here and we will see it in a moment that's a normal resource file of .NET so there is not uh, nothing uh, special in there and once you have added or injected the localization uh, variable in here you can effectively use localization by using log and or the variable name and <coughs> set the actual um, item that you need to get from the resource file so in this case we are getting looking one that's named title there is another one which is named welcome message and there is another one which is named course URL and I added this inside some properties so we just access this with a lot with just a few HTML used by the name of the variable and we retrieve the value as a property uh, and then you will need to have the index dot resx and you see that here well this is the default uh, resource file definition make sure that your custom tool is actually empty in the properties of the file uh, it's marked as embedded resource with no copy to directory and now you will add data item for title, data item for welcome message, and data item for course URL. And you add more files for the different cultures you are going to have in there. So I went ahead and added one for uh, English and the one for Spanish. So I'll modify the one for Spanish. Now if I run the application, it is going to be loaded by using my default culture, which is currently set uh, for English. So remember you can check the course videos out, welcome to the PTI Blazor Video Insights course, and you will see that here we have the URL, which is just a value that has no translation. Now. If we want to see the one in Spanish, we could set some drop down or allow the user to select the language in which they want to see this site. For now, we are only going to change the default culture so you can see how it's changed. So, to change the default culture, you basically go to your program.cs in the main method and you will set both the default thread current culture and the default thread current UI culture and in this case I set that to um, I am setting it to Spanish 
So as soon as I load the application again, I will see this page in Spanish instead of English. So you'll see that now we are looking at the page in Spanish and then we'll need to apply the translation for the rest of the files we have in the project. I hope this video has been useful. Remember you can see the rest of the videos uh, of the course in the YouTube channel in the playlist. Um, let us know anything else that you would like to learn about Blazor. And remember we are also uh, creating videos about Azure .NET Core and Unity 3D. So let us know anything you would like to learn about those. Thank you very much and have a great day.